This training session, I just started off by warming up with some tuck dragon flags. The reason why I did that is because normally I like to ease myself into the hardest variation I can do. I, don't, I never like to start off with the hardest variation straight away. I like to get my body warmed up. So I start off with slightly easier variations. So I started off with the tuck here and then I moved into the advanced tuck for the next set just to really get myself prepared because ever since I got injured, I'm a lot more careful about how I train now and I have to be. So yeah, that's why I like to just warm up into it so by set three I was feeling pretty good and I managed to hit a tucked one leg dragon flag I was actually quite surprised about this because my shoulders were really fatigued I've recently started Thai boxing and I was doing that the day before and I also did a bunch of shoulder rehab exercises so I was, I was already quite fatigued in my shoulders but I surprised myself and got the tucked dragon flag which I'm pretty happy with the one leg one and then I got an advanced tuck and that was pretty cool and I was like okay let me not <laughs> let me not go too far because my shoulders are very fatigued I don't want to push it I kind of did try to push it a little bit on this one and then I was just like yeah nah <laughs> it's not happening so I dialed it back and then went to the advanced tuck and basically just try to hold these for as long as I could, just trying to build up that endurance because it's really important to build up endurance when it comes to calisthenic skills because obviously you want to be, be able to hold the hardest one that you can, but you need to be able to hold it. So in order to hold it, you need to build up that endurance. Next, I went to these L-sit holds and these kind of L-sit raises. These are actually quite hard. You go from an L-sit into kind of like a V-sit and then you come back down. These are a really challenging exercise. If you're an intermediate athlete and you need something to kind of really challenge your abs, I highly recommend those. I think I only had about four or five of those in me. They are quite tough, um, but I like to do these because I'm also trying to, well, I will be trying to get my V-sit back at some point. So I'm just doing these. Normally, I would like to, so I started off doing the dragon flag variations and normally I'd like to then supplement that with some very specific dragon flag training on the floor. So I, normally I would have gone and done dragon flag progressions on the floor, but there was nowhere to do them in the park. So I had to settle for these L-sit exercises, but that's fine because I need to practice my L-sit anyway. And also doing L-sits as well, it engages your muscles like your serratus anterior, which is good for stabilizing your shoulders. And I need to train that and I need to strengthen that because it will help me to stabilize my shoulders. So yeah, it's there's, there's benefit to doing these as well. And these are also very hard. I was trying to get my legs as high as I can uh, to try and mimic that V-sit position so that I can kind of drill that into my muscle memory, but also it puts your abs under more tension. So obviously if you're putting more abs under more tension and more strain, then they're gonna grow and they're gonna get stronger. So that's why I like to do these. You can see I'm shaking <laughs> because these are actually quite difficult. They get a good reaction as well. I'm not doing them for the reaction, but yeah, if you wanna do them and kind of do something a bit impressive, then yeah, they, they get like a nice reaction as well. But one thing that I really wanted to talk about was setting up for calisthenic skills. It's really important and it's something that a lot of people don't really talk about. So I'm gonna cover it very briefly. I might make a separate video about this, but basically when you set up for a calisthenic skill, it's really important to set up properly and it's really important to visualize the skill before you do it. So even before I do these L-sits, I'm visualizing my body. When I'm on the bar, well, before I even get on the bar, sorry, I'm visualizing the position my body will be in when I'm in the L-sit, I'm visualizing my muscles engaging, I'm making that mind-muscle connection with my muscles before I've even got into that position. And this is really important because it will help you get the most out of your training, it will help you get the most out of your holds, you'll be able to hold things longer. That visualization is really, really key. And it's also kind of motivational because you can, if you can see it in your head, you can do it. If you can see it, you can believe it. And if you believe it, you can achieve it. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a really good idea to just make sure that you set up in the right way before you do any calisthenic skill. Make sure that your limbs are, like say for example, if you're holding onto the bar, make sure that you're holding onto the bar in the correct way. Make sure that you're thinking about the correct form before you even go into the movement. Visualize yourself doing the movement. And then when you get into the movement, of course, make that mind-muscle connection with the muscles you wanna target. Make that mind-muscle connection and continue to, to see yourself, even though you're doing it and you're living the experience, visualize yourself holding it strong during the movement. And that's my takeaway advice. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next Road to V-Sit update. Road to V-Sit, raw. <laughs> Road to Dragon Flag, I mean, lol. <laughs> All right, bye now.